So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here, and welcome to a game called Interactivity, the Interactive Experience. This was a game I found on Steam, and if you think about Stanley Parable, try and cross that with a little bit more horror, and I think we might get somewhat close to what this experience might be. Stanley Parable was an amazing game which I had so much fun with when I played it, so getting the chance to re-experience this thing made by different developers is always something to my liking. The company who made this game is also the company who made Bon Bon, and if you guys don't know about that game, well it's about a giant oversized hamster which is trying to kill you basically. And if that description alone doesn't get you intrigued, I don't know what will. Now, before we get in this game, guys, we've got to read me. Hold up a second. Oh, my goodness. Welcome to Interactivity and Interactive Experience, an exhibition by Etheric Games, featuring the button in the world of video games. Interaction engineers have spent years rigidly defining the specialized and determinate ways that you, a video game protagonist, may interact with your world. Here in this guided tour, you will find them all, glistening with promise, awaiting the click of your mouse, and ready to entertain you. Except for the button. The, the button is not for you, so don't press it, basically. All right, let's go ahead and get this adventure started, then. And I mean, if you guys are looking forward to this, I think you know exactly what to do. All right, and here we go. Hold a second. Interactivity, the interactive experience. We're being welcomed in. All right. Yo, first of all, if this is an art exhibition, why are we coming in with a flashlight in the middle of the night? Another thing as well, you see these shutters being down, and if you listen... There's a lot of chatter outside. This could actually be our own exhibition. Now, hold up a second. Let me just check. Cash registers look like they're working. Guess we're gonna find out. Nope. Okay, and that was really good. No information on that screen right there. I guess we can look around a little bit, though. The door here, too. Looks like it's locked. Pulling that thing violently. And we're gonna stare at another blank monitor. Only for it to be blank. Now, another thing. Whilst I walk, you guys hear chirping? Hang on. It's like... That I don't know what that is, dude. Let's go on through them. Welcome to okay, Interactivity. The interactive experience. Featuring the button. Featuring the button. He's got it for me. Please enjoy your visit. Thank you. You sound very optimistic, by the way. I'm sure you had a lot of fun recording those lines. Gallery what about this one? one? Levers. Okay. The lever was invented by the Greek mathematician Archimedes. Made a backstory. As a means of getting in and out of his bathtub. Uh, was that for These real? Days, Levers are used to apply pressure in a range of situations okay. and provide diverse ways of interacting with your environment. You know what, dude? Whatever. Let's go on through. So this is our first room here. Plants planted around the place, ironically. Series of instructions on the wall looks like various lever diagrams. And then we've got information Levers right here again. Levers don't only go up and down. Okay. Or forward and back. This one goes side to side. Isn't that weird? Not really. I mean, you could have just put the one that goes up and down at a 90 degree angle. Dude. This is crazy. I can't believe we're doing this right now. For real? Hold up. What about these? Pull that one down. Didn't really do anything. Let's check the information you know, here. Hold up a second. A switch is actually just a tiny lever. Insane. Look at that. We press the button. We get some light. Turn that good stuff off. Look, I work in the dark. Now, my guess is that we've got to go ahead and pull all these levers down. And it's probably going to open up the one doorway where we can get through. And the last one right here. Perfect. Let's see. That's exactly how we progress through. So, incredible so far. Lovely interactive experience. Why is this one a bit amber? Gallery 2. Valves. valves. This is weird Plumbers so far. What the freak is going on, dude? who first created the device we now oh. know as the valve. Okay. Some experts propose that they were created in the Victorian era as a steampunk motif. Right. Many people think they were left behind by ancient aliens. Okay. These and... days, you can find them all over your home. Even your own kitchen sink. Great, let's go and take a look. That door closes behind us. So, again, I presume we just turn this good stuff and it's probably going to allow us through. Did you know a switch is actually just a tiny valve that controls the flow of electricity? Yeah, you told us this in the last room. Valves like this one like are commonly up. used to shut off deadly steam okay. to allow Ooh, you to okay. pass safely through factories and sewers. Right, I Don't see. Don't worry, is that really the this is just normal steam. Okay. Not the deadly kind. Thanks for the, uh, you know, the confirmation. We'll turn that off anyway. I don't trust this. Okay, so what do we have in this one here? It's like various puzzle elements. Let's take a look at this then. So something on the 11 right there. Do we maybe turn this and then get the valve to align with that? Let's see. So if we turn this one right here, what does this even do? We've turned that. Take a look here. Aha. Is that going to continually move or is that adding up to just two? Looks like it. So these probably have multiple values. If we turn the larger valve here. There we go. Let's see what the uh, shadow does there. That goes over towards about seven. So it's moving this outer light source here. What can I say? Puzzle solving genius right now. Again on the wall, just more diagrams. Now, area three. The freak. All of a sudden there's like a strange hum in the zone. What electrical equipment's making that have pipes you gonna tell me about? This way for the button. Okay. I thought the objective was to not press the button. So maybe we don't touch the thing. Gallery three. Keypads. Keypads. Okay. The keypad is the height of interaction technology. Incredible. So anyway, guys, let's keep going with this thing. Got two more informations there. What is this? It's talking about maybe the gears themselves. 
Okay, that makes 100% sense to me. Dude, I take it in like a buck. It's crazy. Did you know? Wait, what's A this? switch is... Did you know? Uh, a switch yeah, is actually just a tiny keypad okay. with only two digits. One, one and zero. And zero. Uh -huh. I did know that, so stop talking. How about this? Until 2013, it was mandatory for keypad numbers to be printed in smudgeable ink. Smudgeable ink? What? This was what a the safety heck? measure that allowed the locksmiths to open any keypad okay. by observing what buttons had been frequently pressed. What the f Maybe That's this weird. keypad belonged to a heavy metal enthusiast. What? Okay. This Wait, what is this is here? The cutting edge of keypad technology. Amazing! But hold up. There's a door right there if we solve the puzzle, but you see that? There's a way back down behind this switch here. See, now, this is where things get interesting because that seems optional. Hold up. Okay, we can't even go through it. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got this keypad in the middle here. I don't really know what we're doing here. Like, is it a four digit combination or something? So it's four digits that we have to find to get this thing to work. Okay. Now, how might we figure this out? Because this doesn't really give us information. It's just showing us how gears work or how keypads work even. How about behind here? The freak these numbers are. Okay. All right, so number six is definitely smudged. We can figure that one out. Um, That's maybe the starting point for the code. How are we supposed to figure the rest of this out though? Let me just try it. So number six, nothing happened. What the freak, why won't this door open? Let's try six, one, uh, 10. And then three. Nope. Damn it. So it looks like six, nine, eight, and zero are the ones most frequently pressed though in this order. So we could try six, nine, eight, zero, I guess, is the combination. Let's see what happens. Six, nine, eight, and then I guess that one there is zero? Let's see. I mean, it clicks again. I don't know if that means it's good or not. Probably not, to be honest. Let me try and press future, six four times, maybe? Wait, did that just tell me the password? Hold up. Six, five, five, five? And Hang on. Buildings. Is it saying the last two are five? So let me try like seven, eight, five, five, maybe? I have, what the f what is that trying to say? Dude, I've been here for like 10 minutes then, so this one shows a lot of fives, and then when you go over to this keypad, the six is gone. So could it be like five, six, and then this is like ones and zeros, you know what I mean? So let's try this. Five, six, one, and then zero, would it be? Dude, I'm about to uninstall my life. Okay, so hold up, that door opens right there. Now, if I check the red door, god dang it, we still can't get down there. Oof. I'm glad to be out of this room, man. See you later. You know, that was a difficult puzzle to Gallery solve. I will four, say that. The button. Oh, crap. What the game's all about, right? now entering a designated security zone. Heck yeah, dude. Let's go. All visitors will adhere to the following safety procedures. Okay. I don't Always like the sound of that. Always museum staff instructions immediately. We'll Stay see about that. Stay within the roped off area at all times. Okay. Do not approach the button. The button. Do not and attempt to touch the button. Listen, dude, we'll see Do about that, okay? Do not push the button under any circumstances. Okay. Oof, these doors opening up. Do not look too long at the button. What the heck? What have I not been told about this experience? Do not imagine what it would be like to push the button. Do this not is visualize weird, dude. the button slotting into place. Okay. Do not think about the satisfying clunk it will make as it slides. This dude home. is literally convincing me. Get out of my way. Come on, open up nice and quick. I got more of these messages. Do not think about it at all. I'm trying not to. Stop putting messages in my face. What the freak? Look at that. Do not. Push the button. the button. Do not push the button. Oh my gosh, button. man. Push the what button. What the heck is happening? Look at this, man. This huge gallery, all leading down to this one situation here. The button. If I wanted to press the button, I'd have to jump on that thing a lot. Look at that good stuff, man. Also, yo, you should have fixed this up. I can walk straight through this. I just wanted to look at it. I mean, let me try that one more time. Nice and close. Woo. What about if I like... Okay, we can't do that. What about if I jump for this? No, 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 no. They keep you sectioned away even if you wanted to press it. You couldn't. So here's the X. What does this say? In case of emergency, break the glass. Okay, let's press that. So, dude, the light is so bright out there. Is there a way we can actually push the button? I know I shouldn't be doing this, but this is what curiosity does. You can't tell me not to press it and expect me not to. I mean, that's a key. So if I break that, I get a key. I have to hold this thing. A key. Wait, the last room had like a basement, right? Suckers. These dudes legit leaving a key for the one place. Dude, shut the freak up. I don't care about you. Don't care about you. They definitely give you the key for this door, man. Look at that. Let's open the door, man. Turn the key. Come on, open. Oof. Let's take a look behind there. Close that door. We shouldn't be back here, but we already are. Breaking out of the exhibition, so desperate to press that button. What's back here? Look, they've even installed monitors back here. Hold up a second. So, a tidy area is a safer area, okay? I know what you're doing. Oh, crap. This is where the game starts to kind of realize what's going on, right? 
We've got hammers, we've got swords. Let's leave that for now. Let's keep walking down. You just can't help yourself, can you? I mean, I'm given an option. I'll take Even it. Even if you find a way to push the button, everything will just fade to white. The okay. same as if you go through the exit. Okay, so there's no incentive to actually do this, I suppose? Hold up, what's this screen going to say? It's just an alternate ending. It doesn't change anything. All right, so let's check this out then. Hold up, there's an exit Look, here. Here's another exit. Okay. Save yourself the trouble and leave now. Let me just press this button. Hang on a second. Now, this is the Stanley parable essence to this. Like, we're being convinced, like, is this robot even sentient? Or are these just, like, pre-programmed messages that when we walk through, we see this? Also, can I get through there? Hold on. Close this door a second. Now, what about if I start moving these boxes? Because I think I can squeeze under there if I do. Hey, look at that. Okay. Yo. We can go through this ventilation system here. What the frick? There was an alternate way we could have went. So, by going this way... Where exactly might we end up? I can't even quite make out what that is. Now, one thing I did notice, and maybe I didn't include it, was that above the button, there is a ventilation system. And we're now inside one right now. Can't go that way. We can continually walk through this. So I wonder if we go through this, do we then drop down, you know? Let's see, left way there. Look at that. We're above this whole place, but are we going through it the right way? See, this way here leads to a dead end. Unless maybe both of them do. Let's see. This continues on. The heck do we think we're doing? Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm surprised I ain't found no dead humans in here so far, you know? Look at this, we got Bendy down here! What the freak was that? Okay. What the fr I don't get what that is, it's like the Look, robot itself. Do, do you think you're breaking the rules? None of your business! I'll, I'll, I'll do what I want. And you didn't say, or something on the screen. Another screen. Now this is getting kind of strange, right? I mean, th this, this is all just part of the narrative that I made up for you. So, th don't go doing this to me. That's kind of interesting. Like, this is all planned even still, which makes sense. Don't break, don't you break. You can interact all you want, you know, okay. the, 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 the things, the exhibits, the interactive yeah. things. Okay. But there is no agency here. Okay. I mean, as the robot said, all I gotta do is just do this because he wanted us to, right? Break this. We pressed the button. So we did it. We pressed the button. Dude. What the freak is going on? Uh... Wait, what the freak is that? In the vents? What the freak? I shouldn't have done this. I should have listened to the robot, dude. I mean... I can still move. And it fades out? No. What is going on? It's like a slow fade. Look at this! The more I move, the more it fades. I keep moving then, I guess. Or do I? Dude, what the freak is happening? Achievement unlocked first? Push it again or read me. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. What the heck? Was that one possible? Hang on a second. Let me check this out. Okay, so we know how this game roughly works. There was a lot of different things we could have. This is kind of interesting. Hold up. So it's telling us the same things as before. And we know how to move this. There's music in the back. What is happening? I'm kind of into this all of a sudden. What the freak is going on, dude? This game is a bit more than what I thought because... I was thinking I'd do the same puzzles. Now the whole game is breaking up. Okay. Okay, I see what's going on right now. I see this. Change these all sideways. Uh. What the freak? Dude, I'm getting shivers from this. I love these games where you can play it through and then you almost like alter what happens the next time around. Okay, turn that over one more. Wait, hold up. This puzzle is different now. Look at this. You see? It didn't add up to the 11 by turning all the valves. So what do we got to do? Wait, hold up. Can you do half values? You can do half values with that. I never even realized. So, through him to room number two. What the heck? Again, though, is this all part of the narrative laid out by the guy who was speaking to us? You tried to portray that. Yo, this is changing up. I'm really enjoying this. What's this one gonna say? Talking about keypads. Yeah, I don't care. Shut the freak up. What is happening with this ambience right now? Hang on, is the door back here already open? It's not. Let's try and... We still can't. What the heck is with this ghostly, like, present? So it was 6510, right? 6510. We don't even need to try and do this puzzle again. No, these things are going to be glitching out. What the freak is going on? There's no point listening to these. This whole place is literally breaking up. The foundation is a bust. Whoa. It's giving me, like, simulacra vibes, you know? I don't want to get through this. I ain't going to listen to your messages. Come on, guys. Open up. Sit. Oh! It's actually made me jump. Come on right now. So, what do we do at this point here? 
Do we try and press it again? Let me see what happens. So go up to it. Again! The alarms just do that. And we already know. We don't even need to try and open the door. We get the key. And then we try something new. Wait. Where's the key? Can I not do anything right now? Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Has the narrator of this game completely restricted us from doing anything other than exiting? We broke the emergency uh, area where the key would be, but it's completely removed this time. It's like... He's not given us any other choices but to leave this situation. Look at that. So I guess we'll hit the exit button. Back up a second. Let's see. Does anything change in here? No emergency button. Let's leave. Are you sure you want to leave? Cancel. Then we can back out. It gives us the choice to not leave. That door's still locked. I thought I'd run back to see if I could find anything. Dude, this is legit freaking me out a little bit. I don't get what's happening. I feel like we have no choice but to leave. Light on. Nothing new appears. Okay, narrator, you've had your fun. You know what, we're actually gonna leave this. Does he say anything? Does anything even happen? Look at this. Dude, push it again or resume? Hang on, let's start this game for the third time now. Did anything more change? It's an outside. The chatter is still there. And it seems like everything's back to normal. Let me, maybe, the key is right there. I didn't even notice that before. Can we just use the key on this door here? Let me see. Yo, come on, use the key on this door. Use it, use it, use it. Okay, so we don't even have to do this puzzle here then. Straight to this back door. Is the key for this? It is, so it's the same key. Right, open this. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm ready for this. Will the narration back here be different now? I know let's see. what you're doing. It's the same, but like really distorted. Is there any other things down here? We've got like old tablets. Nothing really that we need though. Unless maybe we gotta come back for these items at some point. Let's you see what just these can't are. Help yourself, yeah, these are the same you? messages, I think. Even if you find the way to push yeah, the it's still just telling us the same thing. Here's okay, so exit. rather than go through there, let's Save see what was beyond tunnel. here. Mm. Just the door. Hang on. This door did open. What the freak is this zone? It's like elements that they didn't use to build anything with. So that door is sealed off, you see, we've got that there. Now the switch, ones and zeros, right? Ones and zeros. And there's a key in the door. Let's try this one. It just takes us all the way back to the beginning. Okay, so what about if we go through the ventilation system one more time? Is there any other way we can- Wait. What the heck? Let me just savor that thought a second. Something has definitely changed now. Dude, who the freak is playing the drums though? It's like, we're gonna push the button again for the second time. Is it a case of like, the more we push the button, the more tragic things get? The more we break the system as a result? Down there. There's some weird ambience. Really weird ambience right now, guys. Wait, the sludge, look at that. It's like a manifestation everywhere, even more so. Anything down there? A blinking light. What about this point where we stand up? We still hit. Yo. Should have I done that? Hold on, I just broke Keemstar. Yeah. You can be quiet, you can be quiet. I'm breaking your game, I think, dude. Your source code needs fixing up, I'm just saying. Okay, we're gonna keep moving through. Now, that ain't the button. That's what down there, dude. Oh, you no way. You can't convince us. We're still doing this again. It ends with us doing the same thing as before. We press the button for the second time. What is the difference? I don't know. Is there any at all? It looks the same. It's not the same sound. It's like we unleash something that's above there. I don't understand. I don't understand, guys. I really don't. Vision clouds out again for the second time in the same manner. What are we changing? What will we see if we play this game for the third time, you know? Okay, and we just cloud out. Second, what the freak is happening, dude? So is it the more times we play this, the more we mess with this world or something? Hang on, the key isn't here anymore. But this back door, it just opens. We can like cut through this game completely. Look, there's no message on the board. What about if we go near the monitors here? Let me see, they don't even work. Nothing works. Look at that. There's no one outside anymore. We can't hit anyone out there. This is interesting. This is actually interesting for a game. All right, so I think I'm actually going to leave this episode here. There's a bit more to this game than I thought. I figured, like, we'd beat this by simply pressing the button and that's it. But seems like there's another layer to this. So I am going to leave this episode here. And if you guys do want another one where we check out more of this indie game and see what we can do, let's go ahead and do it, man. I'm down. For now, though, this is where I'm going to leave this video here. And I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, hope you enjoy and I will of course see you on the next one.